you know, Jillian Petras, who is live, where Cindy Golding and her supporters have been gathering tonight. Much more subdued gathering there. Jillian? That's right, Beth, and the mood has definitely changed a little bit, knowing now that Cindy will not be taking that Senate seat. Uh, friends and family have been gathering her here all night long, showing her their support. Um, hopefully we'll have a chance to speak with Cindy later tonight in a live interview, so we'll check back in with you in a few minutes. Jillian, if you can hear her, she's right behind you right now. I don't know if you can catch her. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Uh, obviously not the outcome you were hoping for. Do you feel like in the short time that you had there, just eight weeks worth of campaigning, you were able to run the campaign that you wanted? Is, is it over? I haven't even seen the results. Well, it's 92% reporting. It looks like Liz is going to be taking that Senate seat. Um, what's, what's the most disappointing part for you, obviously, hoping that you would be in that state Senate seat? Well, I just think that uh, people are energized, and I would hope that people who got who participated in this process would continue because we desperately need a change in Des Moines. If we don't get it, we'll have more of the same. Um, wishing Liz the best. Absolutely. Um, what, was, what is the one thing that you would like to see? Obviously, the Republican Party hoping for a victory here to break that, uh, push that over the edge for the Republicans. Do you think that? Um, that we're still going to see a push to get some of that legislation through as best as we can at this point with the Republican Party. Well, I'm going to wait till you see all the numbers in because, you know, it's not over till it's over. All right. Thank you, Cindy. Cindy Golding, Bruce and Beth, we'll send it back to you. Thanks. Okay. And uh, we're going to go back to Campbell Steel right now where Liz Mathis is now addressing the crowd there.